We are going to perform a parasitic drain test on this vehicle today. This is a pretty simple test that uh, most people can do with uh, minimal equipment. Um, the average mechanic technician uh, will probably have this stuff in their toolbox in their home garage. Talk about the equipment we're going to use today. We're going to use a, an older Vantage. It is a real good piece of gear for graphing it out as well as a multimeter. The numbers down below that you can see down here, that's the same numbers you're going to see on a regular old multimeter. And up above here is a graph. I like seeing the graph because I want to know when the computers go to sleep and a few things like that. I can see that on this. But basically, if you look at the numbers down below, it's going to function just like a regular multimeter. Here is a regular multimeter. We could be using it today instead if we wanted to. Um, we would just simply take the settings on this guy, set him over here on 10 amps, and... Um, be sure that we're using the black wire in the common port and the red wire in the 10 amp port. And again, we cannot have more than 10 amps flowing through here or we'll blow the, uh, the fuse right out of this piece of test gear. Most multimeters are rated at 10 amps maximum and you'll see that 10 amp right there. If you wanted to go to milliamps, you'd go here, but 10 amps is usually where we start with our parasitic drain. One thing to make sure of is that we don't have more than 10 amps, so we don't take the fuse out of this piece of test gear. What I like to do very first thing is I get an amp clamp. And this guy here, we can set him on as low as 110 amps DC, and we can also put him on 400 amp amps DC. Right now, 110 amps more than plenty to see if this thing's drawing more than 10 amps. Um, you'll see down here in the bottom, our number's trying to search down here at 0.3 amps. No big deal if we're off by 0.3. Again, we're just looking for a major draw, more than 10 amps, that would take the fuse out of our equipment before we hook our equipment up. So let's take this guy and clamp him over top one of the wires. It could be the positive or the negative wire, it doesn't really matter. And we'll read down below here. <laughs> We've got less now than we had. It's probably because I've reversed it. Uh, see here if I can do it this way you can still see the numbers there we go and uh, we're at 0.6 so we're way less than one amp on this guy so we're safe enough to put our equipment on here now the way we're gonna want to wire our equipment in is we want to make sure that we put in put it in in series so in other words we're gonna take one lead from our test gear and hook it to the wire itself and the other lead of our test gear that'll go to the battery. Then all of the amps flowing from one wire will go into our test gear. It'll come all the way back and go into our battery. That's hooking it up in series. So first thing we want to do is let's get that bolt off of there. And uh, I like to use the negative cable because if I take the cable and I'm touching the cable and I touch a ground, nothing happens. But if I'm trying to do this on the positive post and I touch a ground somewhere along the way, I'm um, going to throw some sparks, could possibly burn up a computer. Um, not only that, there's sparks by a battery, which is usually never a good idea. So let's take this guy off of here real quick and we'll hook our meter up on it and we'll take a look and see how many amps we're drawing. Okay, I've got the, I've got the little stud out. I'm going to take the wire off of the battery. Get it out of my way. I'd like to put the stud right back in the battery. So I've got a place to clip my multimeter to. You get him screwed down. Finger tight's plenty good enough. Okay, we'll take the positive lead. We're gonna hook it onto the cable itself. And we'll take the negative lead and we're gonna hit hook it right onto the battery post. And let's look at what our amperage draw is right here. So all the current that this vehicle is using is now going through this machine. You can see right where we hooked it up. And we've got some sort of little pulsing going on there. I'm not sure what that's all about. It's definitely seeing something in there. The main thing we want to notice right now is that we have way more of an amperage draw than the specs call for. Again, down here would be the same as a regular multimeter. So 0 0.38, 0 0.39 amps is being drawn out of this battery, we want less than 0 0.050. So 0 0.050 is a good number, 0 0.020 is even a better number. I'm drawing about 0.3 more amps, even a little more than that, more than I should be. Something is on inside this vehicle. 
It could be a light in a glove box. It could be, uh, if it was a car, it could be a light in the trunk. It could be a stereo left on. Uh, the dome lights could be left on. Anything like that would be drawing that amount of amperage. So I'm gonna go inside and I'm gonna start pulling one fuse at a time until I find out when this draw goes away. When I pull the fuse out and the draw goes away, then I know that the draw is on that circuit. I can go into my service manual or go into the owner's manual perhaps and look at that fuse number, find out what's on that circuit and then figure out how to fix whatever the problem is on that circuit. Okay, on this vehicle now, we've got it down to where it should be. Even really good, it's, this is an older vehicle, so it's going to be, come into focus here, girl, let's go. It's going to be reading rather nicely, way down low like that, 0 .004, virtually no draw on here. I just started pulling fuses out until the draw went away. Um, it looks like perhaps there's a, a electronic device hooked onto this vehicle that uh, was still running. And so I disconnected that device completely, put the fuse back in, and now my draw is gone. Now my battery will quit going dead. Um, simple parasitic drain. Again, we don't need anything that complicated. We could use a simple little multimeter to do the same thing. And we're going to hook our wires up in series here at the battery. And uh, that should do it.